Hi everyone, this is Geisel13 here. I just want to show you guys uh, another FL Studios tutorial that I put together for you. Uh, in this one, we will be incorporating or importing MIDI tracks into your FL Studios. The first thing you want to do, go to File, Import, MIDI File. I already have mine chosen open you'll get um, the option which tracks to import I always choose all tracks it's up to you you can choose which instruments you want and which ones you don't next is which channels to import you should import all the channels so you leave that be whether you have started a new project or not um, if you have started a project already you want to unclick that but if you're just starting out with the MIDI file then uh, start a new project one thing that is key here is that you want to have create one channel per track uh, highlighted or clicked turned on whatever and also realign events so those two bottom things are key when dealing with MIDI files once you do that check the little uh, check mark there it'll go to work and you'll end up with this screen you'll have all your tracks on separate channels and then the piano roll files over here just going to click one so you have one here now when you go to play them and you click play up here uh, nothing happens it says it's playing but no music plays. So this is a dilemma. This is how you fix it. If you right click on one of the channels, you notice that the port value is set to zero. This is its default and that's perfectly okay. Now, open up your mixer, go to the master, and you want to add in the plugin Fruity LSD. What Fruity LSD does is it taps into your sound card mine is Sound Blaster Live Audio B800 uh, it doesn't matter what sound card you have just as long as you have one uh, for this to work one of the first things you should notice is that the port value on Fruity LSD is 1 you want to set it to 0 now every track every track in uh, in your uh, la la la. in your step sequencer is set to 0 and it matches what Fruity LSD has. So now, when you play the song, you'll have sound, and you'll have the song. And you can, it's really easy to go in and just edit all your tracks. It's really easy to edit and master uh, your songs. So, that's all for this tutorial on importing MIDI files into your FL Studios. Thanks, have a nice day.